Now let's turn our attention to the NAPTEX 2023 Mathematics Paper 2 CTVET 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So we are solving question 1A. In fact, we are going to solve all the question 1 in this video. So let's begin with the A part. Factorize PS minus QS plus QT plus RT minus RS minus PT. So in factorization, we need to regroup these terms as it is now. We will let the PT come closer to the PS. Then we just saw the position of this and this, and this one remains the same. So let's go. We have PS. Notice that when you regroup the terms, the sign will not change. So minus PT. Then we have plus QT. So minus QS. Plus QT. Then minus RS. Plus RT. So we now factor. So for the first two terms, P is common. So P, we have S minus T. So we are going to make sure that we have S minus T common to all. So when we come here, we need to factor negative Q. So negative Q, so we have S minus T. So that when we multiply this by this, we get negative QS. When we multiply this by this, we get positive QT. Then again, we factor negative R here. We have S minus T, such that when we expand this, we get this, and when we multiply this by this, we get this. So, with this done, what do we do next? You can see that S minus T, S minus T, S minus T is common to all. So, we bring it, we factor it, S minus T, and we are left with P here, we are left with minus Q here, we are left with minus R here. So, that is a factored form of the given expression. So the bi part, without using tables or calculator, evaluate i 68.2 minus 31.8 squared. 68.2 squared minus 31.8 squared. So for this one, re recall that x squared minus y squared, difference of two squares, is equal to x plus y x minus y so when this is x and this is y we are going to get um, 68.2 squared minus 31.8 squared is equal to 62 68.2 we add it to 31.8 and we multiply it by 68.2 minus 31.8 so 68.2 plus 31.8 will give us 100 then this one will give us so 68.2 minus 31 8 give us 36.4 so when we times this the decimal point will move forward twice so it will give us 3640 so this is equal to 3640 now let's look at the BII Let's look at the BII. So we are to 
evaluate 6 over 5 times 2 whole number, 7 over 8, all over 8 minus 2 whole number, 1 over 2. So what you're going to do now is that we'll convert this one to improper fractions. So we have 6 over 5 times the 2 times the 8, you get 16 plus 7, you get 23 over 8. All over 8 minus 2 times 4, 8 plus 1, 9 over 4. So let's call it LCM. So we have 6 over 5 times 23 over 8. In the denominator, we have this one is like over 1. So the LCM is 4 there. 1 goes into 4, 4 times times 8, 32, then 4 goes into 4, 1 times 9, 9. So now this can cancel this, 2 go here 3 times, 2 go here 4 times. So we have 3 over 5 times 23 over 4, all over. Now 32 minus 9 is... 23 over 4. So 23 over 4 will cancel 23 over 4. So this will give us 3 over 5. In this video, we'll be talking about this question number 2. Stay tuned.